We are here in Vrindavan because of blessings, because of grace. And we want to express that through our sincere, diligent prayers to serve with love. And Srila Prabhupada taught us Krishna consciousness in such a practical way. It's not just a theoretical, conceptual prayer we offer. But every moment of every day of our lives, there is opportunities to actually live by that prayer. By sincerely chanting the holy names, by trying to serve the Vaishnavas, by trying to spread this glorious mission that Srila Prabhupada risked everything for to the world. By reading Srila Prabhupada's books, Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, by discussing these subjects with each other, by doing puja, whether we're worshiping the deities or sweeping the floor or distributing books or cooking or just chanting the holy name sitting on a train or in a Bombay traffic jam. Every moment is an opportunity to practically express our gratitude. And that is how we make spiritual progress. Srila Prabhupada invited devotees from all over the world to come to Mayapur and to Sri Vrindavan Dham each year to associate one another, to absorb the infinitely merciful environment of bhakti that permeates this holy place and to utilize our every moment to hear and to chant and to serve. This is the rule of the yatra. It is not necessarily a rule that is enforced, but it is a rule that we should discipline ourselves with by our own free will. Every moment of life is precious. To be in Vrindavan, in Kartik, with thousands of devotees is supremely precious. Anything we do with sincere devotional service, Sri Vrindavan Dham is going to reciprocate with us. The eternal abode of Sri Sri Radha Shamsundar, where every speck of dust is chintamani, every tree is a kalpa briksha and where the presence and the mercy of all the great acharyas is forever manifesting into the hearts of each and every one of us, whoever we are. Krishna does not see our material qualifications or disqualifications. Krishna does not see whether we're big or small, whether we're famous or nobody knows us at all whether people like us or hate us. Krishna just sees the sincerity of our hearts and our will to serve and to chant the holy names. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare. listening to Radhanath Swami on devotionalnectar.com.